Hey y'all, time for another sidewalk short, and this is kind of a flashback. So, if you know anything about me, then you'll know that when it comes to technology, I am an enthusiast in some ways. Um, and I, I always like to tell people about this thing that happened at Best Buy about, what is it, 2022? Dear Lord, it's already been a decade. This thing that happened at Best Buy a decade ago. Um, so this is what happened. So I'm there looking for, among other things, a new wireless router. So I'm on the aisle with wireless routers, and I'm listening to a customer talking to the blue shirt, um, the Best Buy associate that wear blue shirts, hence blue shirt. Um, and he's asking her, he's asking her the kinds of questions that, to, to paraphrase, he was asking the kinds of questions that made you think that he'd read a trifold about questions to ask, more so than because he understood what he was actually talking about. Um, he was using, he was using terms, but he wasn't using them quite correctly, and I mean, there's more to it than that, but suffice it to say, I could tell immediately that he had no idea what he was talking about. So I, I'm still holding the box and I'm still looking at the router I'm interested in, but I start listening closely to the conversation. And once I realized, once I realized just how clueless this person was, I stepped in and said, excuse me, can I take a look at this please? So she, the customer hands me the box. And I ask her, all right, so what are you looking for? See, the mistake, part of the mistake that the associate was making was that he was asking about this feature or that feature and this function and that function. And never once did he ask what her usage scenario was going to be, what her physical layout was going to be, any of that. So that's where I started. And I got an explanation and I said, hmm. Well, this isn't the one you want then. And she said, really? And she looked at the blue shirt who was giving the, <laughs> that guilty used car salesman smile. And um, she asked me, well, all right, which one would you recommend? So I looked and pulled up a couple from manufacturers that I knew. Um, there was one by Linksys, there was a Netgear. I think there may have been an Asus gaming router. Um, the one I forget which one they were looking at. Um, it was from a manufacturer that I don't think I'm terribly familiar with, but the feature list was unimpressive. Um, and it was not adequate for what the customer said that she was going to need. So I do a little comparison and I come up with one that said, all right, based on what you said, this is the one that I think, and here's why. And I went on to explain from my experience with various manufacturers, why I thought this one would be a good buy from a brand standpoint. So we talked through the features, we talked through the brand, we talked through, I forget what else we talked about, but the long and short of it is, the router that she bought based on my recommendation was almost $100 cheaper than the one the blue shirt was trying to sell her. And by the way, while I'm having this conversation, the blue shirt kind of retreated to the far end of the aisle and was just kind of sullenly listening as this random, how old was I? This random 27 year old talked circles around him when it came to networking hardware. And when I was done, the customer was like, you need to go work for the Geek Squad. And I said, I couldn't take, <laughs> I, I don't think I could take doing that. Because those guys, I, I know there are people out there that are gonna be uh, up in arms over this, but the Geek Squad is basically, uh, they are basically the McDonald's drive-through of the tech world. Um, and I'll just leave that there. Um, but anyway, so the other thing that happened while I was talking to this customer was that a line had formed of people that were waiting to talk to me. And I will never forget this. And my dad's standing there listening to this, watching all this happen. So another customer comes around the corner and I heard it. She asked him, are, are you waiting to talk to him too? And he's just grinning. It's like, nope, that's my son. I was like, yep. So anyway, so the lesson to be learned is twofold. One, do your research before you go to Best Buy. Two, don't listen to what the Geek Squad says. Three quarters of what they do is recited from a PowerPoint deck or other training material. 
they are not trained in actual problem solving. So if you have an actual problem that you need solving, your best advice is to go find an independent repair shop, because I guarantee you, you will get better results than you ever will with the Geek Squad. Anyway, that is all I have to say about that. Y'all have a good one. We'll see you next time.